Finally, the film every Star Wars fan has been dying to see, Han Solo Origins. This movie is probably the least anticipated Star Wars movie ever, but it's always exciting to see a Star Wars film, right? 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 Solo isn't a bad movie, no. It has some great visuals, some great set pieces, some really cool new aliens that fit perfectly into the world of Star Wars. The team behind the character and costume designs definitely deserves recognition because the new aliens look super cool. The armor and weapons they have are badass, so it's not the worst Star Wars ever. But it's just the most generic, basic, hero movie ever. The problem isn't that we know Solo will survive, it's just that the sequences are uninteresting. The movie is very predictable. A prequel can still have surprises and interesting sequences. Rogue One was another sequel, but at least there was exciting sequences in that movie. Maybe that had to do with all the characters being original instead of expanding the lore of an already existing one. Because when you make an origin movie for a character, you have to make sure you capture the essence of that character and I don't think this film did that. This movie is titled Solo but there's barely any moments that solidify his character. There are more Solo moments in Empire Strikes Back. Sure he's a main character in that movie but shouldn't his own movie have more of him? I don't understand how you can make an origin movie about a hot-headed space scoundrel that doesn't work well with others and make it a team movie. His name is literally Solo. The title of the film is solo yet it's an ensemble film. Other characters steal the spotlight so much which would be fine if there were interesting characters in this movie. Other than maybe Chewie, there are no interesting characters in this movie. When the film tries to create moments between characters, it just falls flat because we just don't know enough about these characters. It feels forced and too convenient. He just happens to come across a leader type who is similar to him. He just so happens to be in situations where he meets people that get him where he needs to be. Solo himself seems nothing like the character from the original trilogy. Let go, please. Don't get excited. Captain, being held by you isn't quite enough to get me excited. Sorry, sweetheart. I haven't got time for anything else. Instead of a big-headed, stubborn, selfish Solo, we get a more collected, calm, okay with taking the back seat Han Solo. At least they made him stubborn. But the motivations they create for Solo in this film just don't seem like the same person who shot Greedo first. That makes me think of all the references and easter eggs made in this movie. Yeah, some were cool. The scene in which Han Solo meets Chewie is probably the best part of the movie for me. It's a fun sequence and it's truthful to both these characters, but most of the references feel unsatisfying. It feels like a lazy way to throw the fans a bone. There's a lot of telling instead of showing in Solo. Han Solo constantly says he's a pilot, but we barely see him pilot anything. The relationship between Solo and Daenerys is supposed to be a passionate one, but we don't ever see anything that shows us why they even care for each other. When it does show actual scenes of battle and we see lasers and classic Star Wars weaponry being used, it's very entertaining. The scene in which they are fighting on the moving train was very exciting, and all the action scenes look great. Maybe if it was a constant chase movie with Han Solo and Chewie, it would have been better? Again, Solo isn't a bad movie. It's just decent. It's just a movie. As a Star Wars fan, it's a little disappointing because it's underwhelming. As a movie, maybe it is entertaining for a casual Sunday viewing, but there's just so many better action movies out there, especially today. Guys, I wouldn't recommend this movie. It just is. I have to give Solo 6 out of 10. Later.